and welcome to the Triple Day Show with your host, me, Triple Day. This is episode 7, series 6. Alright, so I've got CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, and other stuff to get through. Okay, right, so let's get to it. First off, i got this one to add to my ECDC collection, because I've been listening to, to them a lot more, and got a new album, got an album of them. The album. I've got Rock or Bust, so yeah, but, I, but more importantly though, I love that 3D cover that's on there, that's amazing that. Next, I got this one out of a charity shop because it was dead cheap and plus, it's one of my favourite rock bands, I got Bon Jovi's album, Bounce, yep, I love Bon Jovi, so I've been listening to them as well. Next got this one to add to my Disturbed collection, because I've got two of them right here. I've got two of them. I've got Disturbed's album, 10,000 Fists. Yep. And Disturbed's album, Indestructible. I love that front cover. That front cover was all. That front cover's awesome. Plus, I got that one out of the charity shop, the same one, and I got Bon Jovi, and this um, next one that I got. I got this one to add to my Green Day collection. I got Green Day's album, Shenanigans. Yep. It doesn't tell you on the front. It tells you on the side. Go there in the black, Shenanigans. Yep. That. Alright, next. I got this one because it was like in... It was cheap in MHMV, so I decided to get my hands on it. Plus, it's one of my favourite metal bands as well. I got Judas Priest album, Turbo. Yep. So that means I've got four albums by them. Alright, next. Got this one uh, because I like the artist, of like what he's done and everything. And plus, he's a really good vocalist and a good guitarist um, as well. So obviously, I got Mark Ronson's album, Uptown Special. And yes, this one does have Uptown Funk on it. Alright, next, I got this one because this is this is one of my favourite rock bands like of, of all time. You know, like, nobody can replace these guys. I got Queen's album, A Deer at the Races. Yep, because Queen is absolutely one of my favourite rock bands. Next, I got two more albums of Trivium. I only need a couple more. Um, just to complete their discography. So I've got Trivium's album, Ascendancy. So yeah. And funnily enough, one of my mates on Facebook actually said this was the, this is one of their best albums that they've done. And next I got the special edition of Shogun with the DVD that's in it. Get this guys. Look at that. Look at that front cover. All it is is just pictures inside the living room. There is no lyrics inside the living room. It's only just pictures. Alright, next. I got this one to add to my Now CD collection because I haven't been collecting them any more of them. But I've found this one dirt cheap in the charity shop. Same as when I got the Green Day, the Bon Jovi and the Disturbed album. I got Now 75. Strangely enough, my mum thought that she hadn't had this, but she realised that what number it was, then she did have it. She's got it. Alright, next is the Davey Days. Right, this one, um, it's not the best um, zombie film. I'm saying, it's just a meh, not a lot. But the strange thing enough is, it does involve TNA wrestlers. You guessed it, I got wrestlers vs zombies. When I first saw the trailer for this, I was like, meh, not a lot. But when I, but when I sat down with a couple of mates and watched the, watched the entire film, it was basically, it was trying to be like I'm a zombie film, but it, it isn't. It's not whatsoever. Alright. Last out of the DVDs, I got the third 
film to the Cornetto trilogy. World's End. Not the strongest one out of the Cornetto trilogy. It was trying to be funny, but obviously enough, it, it, it wasn't. Um, what was Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, actually, I'm thinking? And plus the director, um, Edgar Wright, um, as well. So that's that. Right. Next is the Blu-rays. I got Candy View, so obviously enough. Let's get let's get to it. Alright. First, I got Twelve Runs Reloaded with Randy Orton in it as the main character. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you here. I know how much I love John Cena the most, but in terms of films like um, when he's done like um, Twelve Rounds. He's okay with it, but 12 rounds reloaded, Randy Orton does a little bit better job than um, John Cena. Sorry John Cena, but Randy Orton just beat you on that one. Alright, next, I got the film, which is really good when I first saw it, and as well, it was awesome as hell. I got 300, this is Sparta! Literally, this is a really brilliant film. Need to get me hands on the second one, Rise of an Empire. Alright, next, I got Disney's 31st classic, an R.I.P., Robin Williams, Aladdin. Aladdin, yep. This is a really f good Disney film. It's it's great. I just All the Disney classics have been really good. None of them have ever been bad. Next, um, it's Disney's 30th classic, Beauty and the Beast, Diamond Edition, with DVD. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, I love the storyline in this film. The story and the animation is what made it great. Now that's all the stuff. Next is, You Are the One. You Are the One, Neo. The Matrix. <laughs> yep, I got the first one because this is um, this is the best one out of the trilogy. Second one was great. You can still watch it, but the third one was nah. It was trying, but it didn't. But it didn't work out. But that one did very well for it. All right, next I got the special exhibit double packed edition of Night in the Museum One and Two with. Triple play it. So that means both films have both the Blu rays, the DVDs, and the digital copies inside of them. So this one's really great. In fact, number two, what I gotta say, was really great. Number one, honestly enough, oh, mind blown. Alright, next um, is a film which, of, which is based off a fighting game, which I honestly love. And honestly, I think it is better than Street Fighter, but that's just my own opinion. I got the film Tekken. If I'm going to be honest with you, it's not very good. The only thing that let it down the most was the fact is, is that the arenas, the arena was the same. If they have put it in different locations, like in the desert or safari, like... Um, in the desert, the forest, everything and all that. That would be great. That would have made the film a hell of a lot more better. The only thing that dwelled down in it was just the arena. Alright, and last I got this one to add to my X-Men collection. I got X-Men The Last Stand. Awesome film. All I've got to say is that X-Men 1, 2 and 3... Well, X-Men 1, 2, and The Last Stand have all been great. X-Men Origins Wolverine has been great um, as well. X-Men First Class, even better. X and uh, The Wolverine, I've only seen like um, half of it, but it's alright. But X-Men Days of Future Past, that was really mind-blowing. Alright, next up is the other stuff. But before we get to that, cheers. Emerge. A good energy drink. 
Oh, zero sugar them as well. That's good. You can get them in three for a pound at um, the cooperative. Really good energy drinks. All right. Let's get back to this. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the plushies, what I've got. Now, these two, obviously not because I'm a Sunderland fan. I support Sunderland EFC. I love these two guys as well. I do love them. I've got the mascots, Samson and Delilah in plushie form. Honestly enough, these are really great them as well. The only thing that lets it down about these two is, is that their feet. Samson's got trainers on and Delilah's only just got no shoes on. But when you see them in light um, mascot formation, they've both got exactly the same shoes. They're both red. Alright, and next, well, and last are the Sum Sums. Now, all these are the night before Christmas ones. Because they came out on the Tuesday that they were released. And honestly enough, I'm going to every single one of them on Sum Sum Tuesday to get the new ones. So first off, we got Jack Skellington, just as normal. That's that. Next we have his trusted companion, Zero. Yep, Zero. Next we have Jack Sandy Claus, which I, which him and like the Sandy Claus have Santa Claus outfit. Next we have his girlfriend, Sally. Well, I'm assuming that it's his girlfriend or like companion or whatever, but um but actually no Zero's his companion, but yeah, she fancies Anne Jack's That's that. Alright, next we got Shock. So yeah. Shock because of the hair and all like that, it's just blue. Plus they say electricity is blue, but I don't I don't, we can't see what colour it actually is. Next, you got Barrel. So, yeah. So, yeah, I've got one thing to say to you. What? Do Barrel. Fail. Anyway. <laughs> Next, we got Lock. Now, honestly enough, I don't know why he's called Lock for. Because he's got the, he's got Satan's tail. Well, obviously enough, he's meant to look like Satan. So I don't know why he's called Lock for. Alright, and last is Vampire. Now, would you honestly to believe it? Doesn't actually look like a vampire because it doesn't even have to take like what you see like vampire at the front. So it's just got wiggly smiley face. Just staring into your soul. It stares into your soul. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, that has been the Triple Day Show, Episode 7, Series 6. I hope you've enjoyed it, and peace!